Hey there ladies and gents, welcome back to the vlog. My name is Drew and welcome to part two of the Black Friday building a computer special, I guess you can call it. So if you didn't watch the first video, let me get you up to speed. So long story short, my M.2 hard drive fried in a power surge and I was V sad, pay F for respects or press F for respects. But the good news is I got to buy a whole bunch of new computer parts and today we will be assembling said computer parts into hopefully a working computer. So as of right now, when I turn on my computer, it posts, it goes to BIOS, but it doesn't recognize the drive as a bootable volume. So that can mean a couple of different things. So firstly, the M.2 slot that it's sitting in could be bad and it's not reading the device. Two, it could be the M.2 drive is fried because the power surge basically got in and switched around all the NAND gates and basically corrupted the drive. Or three, some other weird stuff, a lockless like this monster or Sasquatch or something like that. So if we, whenever it comes to troubleshooting any sort of PC problem, um, you always want to go least invasive to most invasive. So I realize buying a new motherboard and buying a new hard drive is probably not less invasive, but I've been meaning to do an upgrade for a while. And so this was kind of the catalyst that pushed me towards that. But first thing you want to always check, and the first thing that I checked last night was, you know, restart your machine, make sure it's not, you know, <laughs> completely, or it's not one of those things where I just restarted and it's good. I reseated the drive to see if that would work, so I just pulled the drive straight out and put it back in and retightened the screw to make sure everything was in good contact. That didn't work. And so the next natural step is replace the drive. So that's what we're going to do. But it's not that simple. M.2 drives are a little bit tricky and you can get like adapters. So you, I saw on Amazon you can get like an adapter that takes an M.2 drive and turns it into a thumb drive or a USB A drive. But I didn't want to pay the extra bit of money there, and I didn't think that it could be the driver, could be the socket, that sort of thing. So the first thing I'm going to try is get this guy built up, put both drives in, and see if the new motherboard um, sees the old drive and if it's live. Because that'll show if it's the socket, because if it's the socket, then we can just boot into the new drive and wham, bam, thank you, man, I have a another drive that I can boot to, or, or I, my boot drive is okay, all my data's there, and then I just have another drive that I can boot games on or something like that. If that doesn't work, it gets a little bit more complicated. So what we would eventually, or what my second path is, and I think the path that we're probably gonna have to go down, is I will have to put both drives in, burn an image of Windows on my Mac, so get uh, the Windows ISO for my Mac, get a product key, throw Windows onto the new drive, get into there, see if I can see the old drive, see if I can clone that drive onto like an external drive or an old dummy drive. And then from there, put that external dummy drive in and then clone it back to the um, new M.2 drive. Or I could probably do part three, which would be just install Windows and then reinstall all my programs. So, Make backups, I guess that's the takeaway. I haven't backed up this machine just because most of my stuff is in the cloud. So it's not a total catastrophe if I have to reinstall some stuff. In fact, it's probably for my benefit because there was probably stuff on the old drive that I had to clean out anyway. So thinking about it now here live on camera, I think I'm just gonna start from scratch here, but I will see if I can recover the drive. And if I can't, I'll probably send it off for a warranty through Samsung, but do your backups. It makes it so much easier. Back up to an external source so that way you can boot into it. Um, well, actually, you don't have to boot into it, but um, have a backup of all your stuff. That way, all you have to do is just throw Windows onto a new drive, move your backup over there, and you're good to go. So then you don't have to do all this lifting and shifting and stuff like that. But I'm a computer scientist. I enjoy this kind of thing. So we'll see what happens. It's called trial and error. That's the best part about science. So without further ado, let's go and science the out of this.
Guys, 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 and girls. It looks like it's working. I, I am honestly astonished. I thought that for sure the drive was fried, but I guess it was the connector. So this is awesome. Right now we're hanging on getting device ready at 85%, but I'll give it another couple seconds. And if I run into any trouble, I'll be sure to fill you guys in. But this, this is nice. We like this. All right, ladies and gents. So you may have noticed a couple things are different, namely that I'm wearing different clothing and yeah, now I have a fade. So it's the day after I just recorded the clips you just saw. So in real time, a day passed, but in the video, it only was about 20 seconds. But yeah, I got everything up and running. Um, new by the board is working somewhat great. I say somewhat because there's some device tweaking and some BIOS um, and driver tweaking that I had to do. Um, I had an issue where it was just booting super duper slow. So I went ahead and reflashed the BIOS with the latest revision. And I'm also noticing an issue with my Wi-Fi and Bluetooth drivers, but a lot of the forums are saying that if I just unplug it and let the CMOS reset, that should fix the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. But other than that, um, really, really happy that it wasn't the drive and I didn't have to do any lifting or shifting. So sorry if you were expecting a massive video about moving data around or how to rescue a drive, but thankfully I didn't have to go through that headache. I guess it was just a bad M.2 connector on my old board, or maybe that power surge caused some sort of issue, but lesson learned, get everything plugged into a surge protector so your boards don't fry, and yeah, the new motherboard's working great, I love it, and I can't wait to keep on working with it and see what other fun stuff comes up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this computer science and computer building themed stuff, be sure to leave a comment below or leave a like. That way I know that you guys are supporting them and I will continue to make these videos. I also noticed that on the motherboard I have an RGB element now and the case that I have it in doesn't have a window on it. So I might just put a window on that. And if you guys would like a video, def video of me doing that, definitely leave a like because that's something that's turning in my head right now. But we'll wrap up today's video, and that is by me saying, always remember that you are wanted, you are loved, and you are appreciated. You have a special talent that nobody else has, and the world is waiting on you to bring it out. So muster a little courage, go out into the world, and change it. That's what the world's waiting on. You.